Happy Wednesday, March 8th, 2023. Westwood's on the road. Westwood's going shopping today. My daughter called last night and said, hey, she had to stop and get something. Oh, it was Tuesday, so of course. Hey, let's do Taco Tuesday. So I had to stop and get uh, some ingredient we didn't have, so she stopped at uh, Kroger. And she got there and she's like, hey, there's some of these things on closeout. And so I started FaceTiming her. I'm like, oh yeah, get that, get that, get that. I mean, some of this stuff was like 70, 80% off discontinuing some frozen items, quite a few of them. So I'm like, get that, 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 that. And I'm like, dang, that's a deal. Some protein sources, you know? But uh, it was really, really a good buy. And so that's why I'm going back now because I don't want to tie her up all night. I'm slow. When I go in, I want to look at everything. My wife hates it when I go to Costco. Absolutely hates taking me. Usually she's just like, just give me a list and I'll go. I kind of like to go though. Because a lot of times you go through the aisles, they'll have things marked down. You know, they'll, they'll do with the little star by it. It'll be like 297, regular 15. And I'm like, holy crap. Because once it's gone, it's gone. You know, they're getting rid of it. They don't care. They just want to get rid of it. And so sometimes I'll find some really good deals. And I'm like, grab two of those. They're like a freaking warehouse full of stuff. Can't find any of it though. But, so that's why I'm going going shot. Is that a kitty cat? No, it's a skunk. That's a pole cat. That's a Pepe Le Pew. A mu, 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 mush. He got whacked. I was listening to something the other day. Well, the Sabatini Protection Agency. Hey, because coincidences happen. Yeah, you know, I got four coincidences in my trunk right now. I just, I don't know, a little skit somebody said. Daddy-O sent that. And pretty hilarious. Mitch called it out. I didn't listen to it. Mitch said, hey, listen to this. It's hilarious. So I listened to it. The reason why I didn't listen to it, because it showed up on my phone, and I think it was linked to TikTok. Well, I didn't have TikTok app, so it's a pain. Trying to launch the web browser. It's muted. It stops. And <coughs> I'm way off tangent. But it did lead me to TikTok. But let's talk about that in a minute. Anyway, I'm going shopping. The point is, I want to get stuff when it's cheap. You know, I want things on sale. I don't want to pay full price. I like cheap or inexpensive, I should say. You know, a good buy, a good deal. That's what I'm looking for. So that's why I'm taking the Digibug today and gonna go check out Kroger and I'm gonna go to Dunkin Donuts because I get it's right there go through the drive-thru I get a 99 cent coffee I'm gonna get an extra large black coffee get my money's worth maybe I'll get an Americano I don't know it's 99 cents any coffee any size okay so why get a small it's the same price it's 99 cents get the extra large there's no calories in it it's just a lot of caffeine anyway uh, I'm going through there. I'll probably use my speeding app. I still got that on my phone, the Flexa speeding app, to where you can take um, what Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash. I think uh, there might be some more. Zcash was on there at some point. Anyway, I don't care. I have Litecoin on there. It's just kind of been sitting on there for a while. I mean, yeah, Litecoin's down a little bit, but I don't care. I mean, it's kind of nice because you'll, I'll go through the drive through and I'll just, I should have had another device, recording device, so I can show you. I've done videos in the past. Anyway, just pull open the app on your phone, boom, go to Baskin Robbins, which is Dunkin' Donuts, same thing, same payment system. Show the little barcode, bink, it's just like a gift card. They scan it, done, takes the light coin off, and you're paying for your 99 cent coffee, plus tax. So, that's what I'll be doing here in a little bit. I'll be hitting Kroger, I'll be getting my deals, stocking up. It's like I say, get it when it's cheap. You know, right now, Litecoin's pretty cheap. I think I would uh, look at maybe grabbing a little bit as I, you know, I'm going to pay with Litecoin. Well, that's what it is, though. It's a useful thing. So when you want to use it, it's there. That's why I like it. I really don't even care. I don't even follow the dollar price. I mean, yeah, I mean, I can talk about it, but it doesn't matter to me. It's a tool that I can use at any time. That's what I want. In the, in the digital world. I want something that's gonna work and I don't have to worry about it. So anyway, wish they would take it peer to peer. In other words, Litecoin, blockchain, QR code, address. I could just scan it, pay it directly with Litecoin. But 
<laughs> Until then, there's intermediaries. You know, Flexa is a good way to do that. You know, the speed in the app is, is a way to do that. You can pay with Litecoin in multiple places. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to Kroger. Um, I'm gonna pay with a fold card at Kroger though, because I'm gonna get Bitcoin back uh, by doing that. And then of course I'll convert it to Litecoin. So yeah, look into the fold card. I was signing my daughter up for one last night and apparently, oh, you know, come back, we're busy, so. Same with the Litecoin card, so I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to get her set up with that stuff so she can, you know, use the ecosystem. And last night had some problems, but Venmo worked. <sighs> Figures. So anyway, after that, I am going to, what was I gonna go do? Oh, I wanted to talk about TikTok. So I'm gonna go get some good deals. TikTok's the big thing right now. Oh, should Congress, you know, Congress is talking about giving the president power to to essentially regulate, you know, with the wave of a magic wand, um, so companies like TikTok, if they're foreign based or foreign tied or whatever it is. And I'm like, um, they're making a big deal that the Chinese are watching you on TikTok. Well, every social media platform, it doesn't matter if it's the Chinese, it could be this deep state, it doesn't matter. You know, some somebody that doesn't have your interest in mind that wants to use you is watching you on every social media platform, even Twitter that I use, even YouTube, there where you're watching this video. All this is basically surveillance wear that goes onto your phone. And your phone is, yes, everybody afraid of the mark of the beast. Well, you've already marked yourself with your phone walking around. They can track and trace and follow you anywhere. Go watch the CSI crime shows to where, you know, they're following, watch out, all these people. You know, they, oh, where's his phone? Where did it last ping at? Oh, well, he was here. Uh, and so, I mean, you, you're you already tracking and tracing. All these platforms do it. My problem is now you're going to pick and choose. Congress is going to come in and say, well, give the president authority to basically ban TikTok if he wants to. Uh, that's a bad precedent. Very bad precedent because TikTok, like it or not, you know, it can have a lot of bad things, but it offers a lot of, uh, good things because it gets a lot of information out and allows the individual in an easy way take the good with the bad but it can be a tool to get the information out to put it out there so i got a problem censoring the people i got a problem when you try and cut off avenues to where people can can get information out tiktok's one way to do it twitter's a way to do it are they flawed yes do they have a lot of issues, you know, and maybe some security and privacy issues? Yeah, they probably do. <coughs> but you got to realize we are in an information war and getting the information out is the most important thing. And it's like, well, I'm going to go yell at the battlefront and with this giant megaphone so everybody can hear me. But I might take a few arrows or I may take a few bullets, but at least, you know, I can get out there and do it. And that's the thing with these platforms, you can get out there and do it and and make a difference and, and get your voice out there. So I don't know, I don't like that precedent so much to where, you know, you can come in and ban some, you know, maybe regulate it, but you know, to ban it, uh, I don't know, man. You know, there should be but more privacy, but uh, I mean, to just outright get rid of it, it's gonna take a lot of uh, information, you know, a lot of things that people, um, you know, a lot of things that can be taught and taught to people and learned from it, you know, are taken away. So I don't know. It's like, I, I'm all for free speech. Just let it out there. I don't even care. You know, let, let the person decide, you know, what's right or wrong. Just dump it. Just dump the, you know, I don't even care. Why censor shit? Whoops. See, it just slipped out. Why censor stuff? So I didn't even mean to do that. Freudian slip. Proving my point. So here's Kroger. I'm um, going to Duncan over here. I want to talk real quick about the whole Tucker Carlson thing. I mean, wow. They're really kind of in panic mode about this. And Chucky e. Schumer came out yesterday with, oh, it's terrible. It's undermining democracy and this and that. And again, I am a firm believer in what do you have to hide? They tell us, what do you have to hide? You know, why are you hiding things? You know, what? What's the problem? And then when the government has, you know, all this information and they pick and choose at the January 6th committee, you know, what they want to show. Well, Tucker Carlson's showing some of the same footage. He's picking and choosing, you know, a, a different, an alternative view. Why do you have a problem with that? 
I mean, let's see it all. Then we can all make our decisions. Yeah, there's a lot there, so somebody's going to kind of have to, you know, put it out there. But basically what it comes down to is what do you have to hide, government? What do you have to hide, Chucky Schumer? I mean, why are we censoring, you know, the the, docu the documents, the, uh, the video? It's the same with 9-11. You know, the Pentagon's got cameras, businesses have cameras all over the place, but we don't have any footage of a plane hitting the Pentagon. None. They show one and basically that's a missile. You know, it's not a plane. It's like a ground level, you know, going into the Pentagon. It's like a plane cannot get that low and fly straight. It, you know, it comes down like this. It doesn't go, you know, fly down and then straight on the ground level and boom. So it's the same thing. What do you have to hide? They want all our information. They want all of our data. And, you know, we have no right to privacy according to them. Yet, when you try and release some of the footage that was actually of our capital that we pay for and well we can't show that you know it's dangerous what do you mean it's dangerous let's see it so it's bs i mean it's a big cover-up job it was a manipulated story and you only got one side well you're seeing another angle now and they don't like it because they're vampires and they want to control the vampire casino well you know what f them I'd rather everything be out on the table. Let's see it all and let me make the decision. Because of course, you know, both sides are gonna show their skewed version of reality. It's like, no, I wanna see it myself. Let's see it all. Release it all, dump it all, put it on a government website. You know, third party websites, mirror it everywhere so that we can all go download it and watch it. Don't we have a right to see? Let's have some transparency in government for a change. I mean, these cameras were on. Let's see what really happened. So that's my take. All right, hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. I'm going to get my extra large coffee black with uh, with no cream or, you know, I guess black insinuates, you know, there's no cream or sugar in it. So anyway, love you all. Hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. Thanks for listening to me rant a little bit. And you never know, I might have some experiences to share after I go shopping today. So tune in for that. Tune in for that. Look for a video to drop, possibly. We'll see. All right. Yeah. If you're not following me, go ahead and hit that follow button, hit the thumbs up and, um, or I should say hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up and uh, hit that notification bell. You'll get notified every time I drop a video, you get a little alert. All right. Love y'all. Trust yourselves in this whole game. Vampires are trying to take over and, and give you the reality. They want to give you, give you the visuals, you know, show you the video they want to show you. Well, you know what? They want to do it for a reason, and they're only showing you so much for a reason, because there's a narrative that they want to put out there. Never trust the narrative coming from anybody in government, or the media for that matter. Do your own research, trust yourself. Uh, your instincts are going to tell you what's right and what's wrong. You just got to believe them. You got to trust them. All right, have a wonderful day. Love you all. Trust yourselves, and uh, talk to you again soon.